All right, so let, let's do the Cernovich thing because it's just like it's it's just right there. Um, we'll do this as a way of uh, playing that clip of uh, Vic Berger's ed- edit of the Cernovich. So, well, you know, actually, let's do the other one first. That makes more sense. So, we played the other day uh, clips of Mike Cernovich. Am I saying his name right? Yep. Cervanich? Cernovich. Nope, Cernovich, you got it. Mike Cernovich, who is the, um, the pickup artist guy, who then sort of remade himself into a uh, politico. A mindset expert before that. A uh, guerrilla mindset. A guerrilla mindset, then pickup guy, then into a, uh, a Donald Trump fan. Then he realized the book sales, uh, this is according to him, of his uh, Trump book didn't work, so he's going back to a mindset guy. But then I guess apparently he's also... Trying to, I don't know if Roger Stone hooked him up with uh, Alex Jones, but he's trying to get in with Alex Jones. And uh, they did, uh, I guess, a test run the other day. I don't know if it was an official test run. And Cernovich had said uh, on the show that he had just met um, Alex Jones a couple months ago, but it, but it feels like because time has delayed. Um, time has delayed, and so it feels like they had been friends for a million years. And... Uh, so apparently, a lot of people mocked Cervantes. You know, his basically his on-air audition, and um, that afternoon, that was Friday, and by that afternoon, Vic Berger uh, had seen it and made this this clip, or actually, an edit right. of the original thing. Right. And Cernovich had responded to that too, but then yeah. right, and then so Cervantes then um, tries to make lemonade from lemons. And he does, I don't know, like a 90-minute, I don't know how long it was. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It seemed like 90. It went slow. Uh, 20-minute Periscope on Twitter basically saying that (laughs) um, he wasn't in any way hurt by the criticism, trying to tie himself into Chapo Trap House, which I don't know if they talked about it at all, but it's smart branding on, you know, and marketing on uh Yeah, he uh, in this clip we're about to see, he says the Chapo Trap House played the clip, but the person on the video is not Chapo Trap House. Right, of course not. But the, the, it would be, you know, the equivalent of me saying that, like, oh, um, you know, I don't know, Jesse Waters on the Five played a clip of us or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know this uh, world like uh, Cervanovich knows. But uh, here he is uh, doing it, and uh, the great Vic Berger uh, spared you for having to watch the entire 20-minute video and, and condensed it into a way. And that rattling in the background you'll hear is uh, Cervantes' wife, I guess. Yeah. And I got to say, well, all right, let, go ahead, play it. Media, but apparently I interrupted Alex. I don't really know. So according to this guy, who's also one of the, the Chapo Trap House people, I'm over with. Yeah, the video's making the rounds. That video is everywhere. What happened is Alex Jones was trying to introduce a clip. I didn't realize he was trying to introduce a clip. I thought he wanted me to say something. So I kind of just talked. Because because Alex goes, you know, Rahm Emanuel, you know, is held a press conference hating Trump. And then he looked over at me. Pause it for one I go, second. I, I want to make uh, something clear. I don't, I don't want to sit here and fact check this guy. But um, Alex Jones did not look over at him. <laughs> Alex Jones looked directly to camera because he was doing a throw. Now, look. Like I, well, go ahead. Oh, yeah, you know, Rahm Emanuel is... You know, right now, or whatever. I mean, he's by himself, he's great, but when he has like a co-host next to him, he is not used to it, so he doesn't know where to... Well, the thing is, so he's not properly trained either. It's like, there's like eight cameras. Which camera do you look at? Do I look at this camera when someone's talking? Do I stare at them or do I look straight? Or, you know? So yeah, you, I, you do need a coach. Well, maybe I'm mildly Asperger or something, or mildly autistic. I don't really know. Here's kind of a... He can't be great at everything, okay, guys? Come on. <laughs> That's his wife. Interfering on the video. It was a live video, and, and the look on Cernovich's face when he realizes, like his wife is basically saying, "Look, he's not good at it. It just didn't work out." <laughs> I have to say, now look, you know, look, I, I, who knows what goes on in, in people's home, but I have to say, there is a real quality to that exchange between uh, his wife and Cernovich. Um, that is reminiscent of parts of Goodfellas, 
when they're in their home. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I got to do the spaghetti and I got to put this away. And I got to put that away. What are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hold the dog. That type of thing. There's some quality there. And I, I don't know what it is about it that I don't think it's camera work. I'm not sure what it is about those two that reminds me of that scene in Goodfellas with Ray Liotta at home with his wife, and they're really hopped up in something. I can't remember <laughs> what it is, but um, th that's uh, what I reminded of. And and so we uh, we made a video about that exchange because it's really funny, and then we also mocked another video where it's clear that. Cervonich is doesn't really get what goes on at Infowars and sort of goes off and it's really uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable thing. And, and I made the point in that video of saying, like, look, I don't blame the guy. Not everybody gets into that situation, feels comfortable. Infowars goes out to a lot of people um, and you can get very nervous in that situation and not look comfortable. It's and not Periscope. It's not, it's not Periscope. And like uh, Cervonich's wife says, he may be really good alone, but when he has a co-host, he may not be comfortable with it. And not, he can't be great at everything. And that's basically what I said. I think I you know, have the same, you know, was, was, was as empathetic. And at the end of that clip, he said, uh, he was making the point that time has been delayed and uh, we're headed towards a singularity and, that, and we're headed towards singularity because time had been delayed. And, at, and then I think I said, like, what is time, what does that mean? Time has been delayed uh, on the video. And then you said uh, he might be using that word incorrectly. And um, he tweeted out, it was that it w what we showed in that video was embarrassing ignorance from smug social justice warriors. Now, I think that's what SJW means. It doesn't, maybe it could mean s social Jewish warriors. I'm not sure. What I'll happily mean. identify as a, a smug SJW. And I'm not sure. And then he goes on. The next tweet says, that's why um, he goes on to say, that video is why Trump won. Really? Smug liberals mock my discussion of time dilation, <laughs> which is a real phenomenon. Now, here's the thing. I'm quite sure, and in fact, I told him, I'm willing to debate him at any time and anywhere that the reason why Donald Trump won in Pennsylvania and in Michigan and in Wisconsin is not because of a video where I would mock someone for saying time is delayed and bringing about the singularity. I'm quite sure that's not why Donald Trump won. I think we could go to every single one of those voters and say, hey, this guy claims that time is delayed and it's going to bring about the singularity, and I think he's a fucking loon. <laughs> who would you, who do you relate to more in that? Now, I should also say, he seems to be spelling delation wrong. <laughs> he's spelling it like he pronounced it, which is wrong, but... Uh... Were the, were the embarrassingly ignorant ones. But I don't, look, I don't spell, and then he spells it right later, and he says it also occurs during suicide attempts. Um, I realized that, and then one person thought it was unflexible, totally fixable, except for having just jumped. And I don't, I, I, it, time dilation turns out to be basically a phenomenon where you have uh, two different points of view, essentially, on time, and it changes based upon what is going on uh, spatially. Now, he goes on, and he writes about loops and how God created the universe and whatnot. And again, I, I think my initial point um, uh, remains and is in effect. He's a loon, <laughs> and Alex Jones was unhappy with his performance. Which is not to say that he can't go on and have his own show. It's just that he's not, I don't think he's going to be a regular contributor to InfoWars. That's okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> because, you know, the thing is, is that those stuff that you use to pick up the ladies doesn't always work on guys like Alex Jones. So. It's always like rebel media or something.
But let me just end this by saying I will debate Mike Cernovich on the assertion that Donald Trump won because smug SJWs like me mock other people for talking about time dilation and the singularity. We can have that debate. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.